Okay, so since all you can see is my hands, I'll wave hello. Um, today I'm going to be making some stitch markers, and uh, since I wanted you to be able to see what I was doing, <laughs> careful not to bump the camera, uh, I thought I would uh, focus on that instead today, instead of the usual nothing that I focus on. Um, this is the first time I've done uh, used trying this method, so uh, if I make some boo-boos, that's the way she goes. See, I've kind of made a figure eight out of the wire. And that was an oops. Um, now I'll just clean up the ends a little bit. And what I wanted to use was the uh, Mille Fiore pretties that you didn't get to see on my other. What I just did there was I turned the cutters around to square cut the ends rather than leave that mushy wedge shaped pointy end that you usually get. See how it's flat on one side and kind of has a dip curve on the other? You want the flat side to be the one on the side of the wire that you're keeping so that you get that. But here's a loose figure eight. Um, these are going to be open stitch markers because I've only made one set of the open stitch markers. Hopefully these beads are going to fit on this wire. I just thought of that. Ha! And they do not. I guess we're going to be doing a standard little homemade eye pin. Okay, I just made a loop there. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the pliers back into the loop and breaking the neck of the loop so that it goes straight up. Give that about a two and a half inch cut. And here's one of the Mille Fiore beads. Isn't that sucker pretty? Look at that. I don't know how much light you're getting. But I love the bright orange. I think that is just awesome. Okay, now here's what we do. We give it a little bit of height. I use this to kind of measure the height and break it over. Then I turn my my pliers and make the round part. See, so now I have almost a French hook looking thing. But we don't stop there. We bring the curve all the way around to close the curve and then start winding. And I'm not always the neatest about this part. And I'm probably even less neat now because I'm on camera and I'm trying to keep things in front. Yeah, that looks like crap. You know, crud. <laughs> like crud. I'm trying to keep this family oriented. Maybe do a little bit of a pull. Nope, still going to look like crud. So we'll trim that off. That one becomes mine. I have plenty of orange. Don't worry. But anyway, so that's a stitch marker. Yeah, this is bad also. <laughs> it figures when I get on camera, they're just going to look horrible. I, I don't like where I'm sitting, actually, is part of the problem. I'm used to being at the bench. And I'm trying to do this at the table because there was no way to get the camera near the bench and have lighting. Okay, two for me. Whee! Isn't this fun? Whoops, kick the camera. I don't get to make stuff for me very often. Clearly this was something I should have practiced before getting on camera, but I was kind of limited on time because the the big child and the small child went to the park for the afternoon well, for an hour. 
to go shoot hoops because my daughter is lamenting the fact that she is having trouble doing overhand baskets on the basketball. So she wanted to practice and they're gone so I thought this would be a great time but uh, unfortunately that meant I had to rush 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 because it wasn't announced far enough in advance for me to plan and I'm trying to put the wire through the design and not through the actual hole <laughs> that was funny uh, yes still trying And while I do charge money for my stitch markers, obviously I am not a professional. <laughs> but they are fun to make. Okay, I think the secret is the angle. The angle at which you bring back the wire. Okay, see? There we go. Now that one actually looks halfway decent. Nice little, nice little Neusman, whoops, nice little Neusman shank on that one, sort of. So now all I got to do is, is trim that off flush and kind of fold the end back. And the end goes flying. Ooh, and that one hit me in the face. I always wear your safety goggles, people. Because that one hit me in the lip, but it could have easily gone into my eye. Alright, so there, little, little light blue Mil Fiore stitch marker. I might just go ahead and put that set up for sale, you know? As seen on to Landra's useless blog, video blog channel. <laughs> you can't really call it TV. All right. Turn, break the neck. I'm trying to explain more what I'm actually doing, and I don't think I'm doing a very good job of it. Uh, and I didn't square off that end. A little game I like to call Find the Right Pliers. Yep, you just gotta watch that. Oh, I went over time. All out of time, folks. Well, it looks like I'm all out of time, folks. So hopefully I'm going to trim out some stuff here and uh, everything. But see, look how pretty. Very cute, huh? Well, this is like trying to brush your own hair while on camera instead of in a mirror. <laughs> but it's a cute Anyway, this is Kelly from Hollyan Artworks signing off and I hope you get an hour in the house to yourself today too.